Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 6-6. In exercise 4-1, suppose that 7% of arriving customers are classified just after their arrival as being frequent flyers. Run your simulation for 5 applications, 5 days. Assume all times are the same as before and observe statistics on the average timing system by customer type under each of the following scenarios. Scenario 1 is assign 4 of the current agent to serve non-frequent flyers only and the 5th to serve frequent flyers only. Change your model from part A so that the frequent flyers agent can serve regular customer when there are no frequent flyers waiting in queue. And in scenario 3, change your model so that any agent can serve any customer but Priority is always given to the frequent flyers. So which of the three scenario do you think is best for the frequent flyers? How about for the 93% of customers who are known frequent flyers? Okay, so the important thing is the solution of exercise 4-1 have been already uploaded on the channel. So you can check it out before moving to this exercise 6-6. Okay, so let's move to the arena home screen. So here is our model and the scenario in this model is 6-6A. So in the create module, the travelers arrive the station and the entry type is travelers and the time between arrival is random expo. Its value is 1.6 minutes. Then add the assign module and add an attribute or define the attribute name that is arrive time and the new value of this attribute is t now then add the process that is travel time delay and the action is only delay and the delay time is uniformly distributed and the units are in minutes and its value is minimum value is 2 and maximum value is 3 and then the decision have been made is the frequent flyers and there is seven percent chance so seven percent uh, entities move to the frequent flyers chatting and the rest of the entities move into the regular chatting so under frequent flyers chatting add the process module and the action is is delay release add the resource frequent flyers agent and the expression is viable 7.78 3.91 and for regular chat add another resource that is regular agents and expression is viable 7.78 3.91 minutes then add the record module to record the arrive time and uh, the tally name is ff time mean frequent flyers time same is the case for the other process module that is the arrive time for regular time and then travel to the grid so it's all about the model view move to the basic process entity and initial picture is picture dot flyer that is defined under edit entity picture and here you can see the picture dot flyer okay so the capacity of regular server is 4 and frequent flyer agent is 1 and the queue discipline is first in first out Move to run setup, made 16, replication length and the number of replication are 30, time units are over and the base time units in minutes and then click OK. And here is our animation view. So this queue is the regular flyer queue and this one is the frequent flyers queue. So this one is the frequent flyer agent C's area and this one is the regular agent sees area so you can simply click this and add the point in this case here you can see we have the total four points all right so let's run the model so let's fast forward it to view the result okay so click this yes button or you can see the frequent flyers travel time is 11.11 .11 and regular time is 
37 by 16 please note this time okay so let's close this window okay so let's save this model and now we are moving to the second scenario and in that case simply save as this model as 6 dash 6 b and in this model what you have to change there is no change in the create module no change in the assignment module delay time frequent flyer only change in the regular chatting so add the resource type as set and agent set is the set name and selection rule is preferred order you need to see his value is one and there is no change in the delay type then move to the set spreadsheet and here you can see the agent set that is the type of the resource and it's the name and first uh, priority is regular agent then frequent flyers agents as mentioned here change your model from party so that the frequent flyers agent can serve regular customer when there are no frequent flyers waiting in queue all right so it's done so let's run the model there is no change in this animation as well okay so and as well as no change in this setup menu okay so let's run the model again and fast forward it to view the result okay so click this yes button and uh, move to the user specified counter and here you can see frequent flyer time is 14.27 and regular time is 13.98 please note this time too close this window and now save this model as uh, save as exercise 6-6c so here is the third scenario in this scenario change your model so that any agent can serve any customer but priority is always given to frequent flyers okay so there is no change in this module in this module in this module and so on so move to the frequent flyer chatting process module and change the resource type from resource to set and add the set name ff agent set main frequent flyer agent set and selection rule is preferred order and then click ok and there is no change in the delay type and this thing will be done in the previous exercise 6-6b uh, that the resource type is set and the set name is agent set and the selection rule is again preferred order okay so now move to the set spreadsheet and here you can see the frequent flyer agent set name type is resource and add the list that is frequent flyer agent and the regular agent but in the above set regular agent is preferred than the frequent flyer agents all right so there is no change in, in this animation panel as well as the run setup menu so let's run the model and fast forward it to view the result okay so click this yes button and the time for frequent flyer is 10 and regular time is 14 all right so we have complete this exercise but to select which uh, scenario is the best we use the process analyzer tool so move to the tool or open the process analyzer and the new window is open and click this new button and click this button double click and set the scenario name as 6-6a and select the program file that is 6-6a.p this file is automatically created when you run your simulation model click this open and click ok now double click again set scenario 6-6b browse the file 6-6b.p and click ok and then repeat the same step for the last scenario that is c and click ok now add the control so insert control or insert response but in this case i want to insert the response and the response is under user specified frequent flyer time 
and add the response that is regular time flyers okay and uh, then add the chart will be added later on so run this scenario and click ok and first save this model as let's say project one dot pan save it and let's run this model let's run this scenario one and let's run the scenario three remember we have the 30 repetition length so all the scenarios have been run for 30 times okay so let's add the chart most and mistress plot for frequent flyer times include best scenarios smaller is the better tolerance value is zero and finish repeat the same step for the other regular time load best scenario smaller is better error tolerance zero click finish so, okay so let's drag it so what you can see so you can see the summary across all three parts shown on your screen so we use the actually process analyzer and set up the three scenario with the dot p files from part a b and c respectively as specified as i am explained this thing before so we choose 30 replication of each scenario and for the response we select both the frequent flyers and regular flyers average total time in system and we inserted two charts one for each of the response and ask process analyzer to select the best in each case so here are the result that is shown on your screen so why the frequent flyer and regular customer don't completely agree on the ranking of a b and c frequent flyers don't like b and regular don't like a everybody agreed that c is one of the best option so we will probably be the one to implement the scenario 3 that is c 6 dash 6 c scenario that's it so it concludes our exercise 6 dash 6